Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 375. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And this week we have a, well, I won't say jam-packed episode, but we have a lot of news, three to be exact. And I'm recording this podcast a bit later than usual. But it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. So let's hop into the first news. M.A. Larson did a uh, My Little Pony Ask Me Anything on Reddit. So uh, if you guys know what's AMA, um, it stands for Ask Me Anything. And usually it's on Reddit. Obviously. And he answered them. Um, some of the questions are really good. And I'm just going to read some of the highlights that EQD picked out. I think they picked it out. Not hundred percent sure if it is all of them, but anyway, um, one of the questions was, I was just curious, what your feeling were towards not getting to write season eight, episode eleven, mold down the episode where Spike grows his wings. Do you only give out pony, uh, pony slash princess wings? And he answered with, fun fact, they asked me to write that episode, but didn't work out. That would be fun. That would make that meme go so far because uh, season 3 he wrote uh, Magical Mystery Cure which gave Twilight her wings and if he were to write Meltdown that would give Spike his wings man they should have gone full just do it man like just go through with the meme embrace the memes but nah 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 (laughs) he he didn't and well that's too bad Uh, another one I'm just gonna pick some. Um, <coughs> and okay. Um, did you ever think the show would be as big as it has become? Would you ever change anything about what you wrote had you known? His answer was, "I never could have predicted it, and I think that's one of the reasons the show worked so well. No one expected so much from it, so we rarely." Sorry, um, we really? Yeah, we really had the freedom to just be loose with the characters and entertain ourselves. And then it became this big thing and blew my mind. Continue to do so. I still get chills when I meet people at conventions and hear their stories and have them quote my own <laughs> lines at me and stuff. I wouldn't change anything, really. I do believe that sometimes when things get work and rework, they can lose some of their charms. So, flaw that they are, I'm okay with them. And it's kind of true, I understand. Um, The thing is, (coughs) no matter how much we try to work on something and buff out those imperfections, it loses its charm, like Larson said. And... Having a bit of flaw in something, it, it it has its charms. If the show were to be quote unquote perfect, we wouldn't get derpy, because that slight animation error made the character. So it's kind of a growing process, like learning, trying to develop the world, trying to just get everything right. And yeah, yeah. For example, this show here, we have our own um, roller coaster ride of how this show was supposed to be done. If you guys remembered, um, this show was fully scripted way back when, like annoyingly scripted. Like uh, I read the lines that was written on the screen, and it was so stilted. Then we changed to a more looser format and then um, we have this now with me on the webcams and stuff so you can see me and see what's on the page there Ooh, I see yet <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll go for some other ones um okay um what are your thoughts on the my little pony movie the 2017 one not the 80s one his answer was it was good. They look 
uh, the look took a while to get used to since I'm not used to how the show looks but some of the new characters were really fun and it was a blast seeing the girls on the big screen yeah I, I have to agree with, uh, w- w- <laughs> I'm just gonna agree man like whatever he says here was true um, looking at the girls in Toon Boom form was not I was not used to it at the beginning you, you had to took a while before everything processed through and it was a big blast I remember going to a meetup for this and yeah let's just say that it was a blast and then um, this could be the last one um, okay alright what's your favorite part in Slice of Life I think this is episode 100 the one he wrote for okay his answer was I'm a huge fan of how the episode came out I love the wedding part the best where the fireworks start to go off with such an insane episode to have it end with such heart I love it and Peter News delivery of it takes love to make them ignite is an absolute joy so this was a lot of huge insight into Amy Larson's mindset or what actually um uh, he wrote and stuff like people want to know what he thinks like this <laughs> if I were to do interview with him again this would be on the list kind of thing <clears throat> and well with that before I uh, move on uh, remember to buy M.A. Larson's book Penny Royal Academy available on Amazon and also Audible yes <laughs> plug So let's move on to the next news. And next news is Derpy ban on Xbox Live? What? No. That's not right. I have a Derpy shirt right now. Okay, my microphone's... (laughs) There, here. But anywho, why? That's that's not right. Alright, anyway. um, Apparently the word Derpy has been banned on Xbox Live. uh, Xbox Live username according to someone attempting to change their tag to Derpy Hooves. Uh... Apparently, having Derpy in the name made it illegal. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Support note that users' current name with Derpy in their tag would be grandfathered. But if he changed, it would be yeah. Okay. Um. This is kind of mean. Or okay, I can understand. I I can understand why. Before ponies came out, derp or derpy was kind of synonymous with bad things or negative light. Um, I I think if I'm not mistaken, this was brought on by South Park, where a character was uncoordinated. Um, I won't say dumb, but uncoordinated and slow and they portrayed him as a clumsy character and so on you can just imagine how bad that looks in South Park and I understand that Xbox wants to be kind of the whole we want to uh, kind of keep our image clean and whatnot so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing Derpy is one of the words that got banned in their list of words. I mean, if you create a username with XXX uh, Blazing 420 XXX, probably that's going to get banned too for obvious reasons and so on. I mean, this kind of sucks because you don't really get to use whatever you want as your username, but... I don't know in terms of how I don't know I, I don't know how I feel about this. This this kind of sucks at the same time too. And yeah, I mean honestly I, I don't know because I personally don't really have an Xbox Live account. I used to have it before, but ever since my three sixty broke down I said I give up. I I'm gonna drop Xbox like a bad habit. And <clears throat> and what else? Yeah, I mean, I don't use it, so I don't really know how things work for Xbox. But anywho, um, 
besides that, I can understand, but I don't really appreciate it. So, anywho, moving on to the next news. So, anywho, um, yes, Sunset's Backstage Pass is the final Equestria Girl special. So, this one is a bit of a downer. So, let's see. There was a tweet going on with Nikon Flown, who was the director, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, there was uh, there's there's a huge uh, tweet post. Um, let me see if I can get it up. Uh, okay, Nick Nick stated or Nick says on a tweet where he says, "I uh, hope you enjoyed the Questure Girls special today. Be sure to give uh, writer um, to give." Um, Whitney Rails at Whitney Rails a follow if you like hilarious writes who knock specials out of the park and <coughs> someone just asked was this the final special convenient before the show ended or end and he just replies with it ended up being the final special all <coughs> it ended being sorry, it ended up being the final special although we didn't know it uh, would be at the time we even had plans laid out for season 2 final spe finale special and third season but things didn't work out so that kind of sucks because it seems that Everything right now that has to do with G4 is ending. Like they're putting a, s I won't say putting a stop, but they're just ending it slowly because with the end of season nine and being the f well, being season nine being the finale, they're just stopping everything that's related to it, including uh, Equestria goals. Even though if you say that, okay, what would happen if Equestria Girls just kept on? Well, that would be nice, but it's still related to G4 and G5 wouldn't be a thing and so on. And I understand this. <laughs> uh, I, I'm doing a lot of understanding here today. Um, but I understand it, but I don't like it. Because I like Equestria Girls. I've mentioned before that Equestria Girls was one of the few uh, spin-off that was... I consider it to be okay. It really took form in their second movie, um, Rainbow Rocks. That's where they have their own groove. That's where they got their own what you call this flow. Because we don't need to rely on Princess Twilight so much because we have our own protagonist in Sunset Shimmer. But that's besides the point. Um, the point of the matter is that. With the recent special, uh, what was it again? Uh, the what was it? Uh, Sunset's backstage pass. That was the end, like the end of the series. In all honesty, I felt that this kind of sucks because we didn't really get a proper resolution for Sunset, in my opinion, because we. We didn't see her go back to Equestria and just hanging out with the gangs and also Princess Celestia and whatnot. Because as it is now, Sunset's character arc, to me personally, I feel that it's kind of on an arc but it's just hanging there because of the show ending. I, I I personally feel that she how do I want to explain this? She fall from grace, became a bad guy, fall from her grace again, got redeemed, and then on her merry way to become who she is now. But I still feel that she didn't really had that closure with Celestia. I mean, we did had that special where I, Forgotten Friendship where she and Celestia talk a bit and whatnot but I felt like they could have hung out more and Sunset would just say oh um 
thank you for everything and i feel that i found my own world my own peace and whatever it is like that's how i feel really i mean it could be wrong I, i'm feeling wrong but that's how i wanted to end like with her accepting that she's more needed in the human world rather than equestria and honestly i just love to see her fight one of the bad guys in uh, equestria like what chrysalis or something like that it'll be fun it'll be fun but anyhow with that the that's the end of the news so anywho let's go to my favorite topic which is what have i been doing with my week and this week has been rather slow and i haven't been doing much in terms of uh, movies but i've been playing a few games here and there uh games that i've been playing or i've picked up again was uh, bayonetta Bayonetta on PC. Um, I've played it on. I, I think I mentioned this before, but I played it on almost every console that I can buy it on, uh, which was the Xbox 360, PS3, Nintendo Wii U. Yes, maybe ten, uh, Nintendo Wii U. And then uh, I bought it on PC. So I for I, I forgot that that game was pretty intense. Like, if you compare it to Devil May Cry, I feel like Bayonetta is much easier in terms of its battle mechanics, but not really. I mean, both are complex in its own right, but I think Bayonetta has a much easier grasp at, at it. Um, the word is easy to easy to pick up, hard to master, something like that. So yeah, I mean, I've been playing that. Another thing is that I've been playing Magic Gary. Like that's been my jam. I I think I'm repeating myself and a bit of a watch. Ah. Uh, but a few things that I've been doing also was catching up some on cartoons. So some of the cartoons that I've been um uh, watching was or quote unquote binging was Mau Mau and the uh, what was it again give me a second hey folks I, i'm trying to remember something what was it again where are you where are you yes you're here so okay uh mau mau heroes of pure heart i i would say that this show is not for everyone because of the quote-unquote themes uh, you can say that also for my little pony but in my honest opinion give it a shot see how you feel and see what you think because i find it rather entertaining it comes in short bursts of 11 minutes or something like that so you don't really have to spend much time on it uh the other one was mega man fully charged that one is the quote unquote 3D mega man that's been done by IDW no not not <laughs> IDW um DHX yes so it, that's there um it's done i think i think what some of the episodes pass what number 20 something episode i think was episode 20 i forgot it's around the 20 mark where they split it down to 11 minutes episodes because previously it was a 22 minute and they changed it into 11 so i guess they won't be getting re up which is kind of strange because i can understand why the show is not getting re up because nobody really pay attention to it i think i'm the only one in my group of friends who even know about it and yeah it kind of sucks i i say it's a pretty entertaining show they ended on a cliffhanger where i want to say cliffhanger they ended on a sequel bait where if there is a sequel they could use the sequel bit to carry on a potential storyline but my feeling is that they're not getting reupped so no more sequel other than that um final space final space season 2 that is another show that i recommend 
you guys above the age of 18 to watch. It is a fun show, really fun. So anywho, um, that's my adventure of what I've been doing in my week. Also, I do need to read up some comics for today's episode review. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> but anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitionalgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Stitch Radio and also Facebook. Well, also like our Facebook page. Yes, uh, you can also catch us on PonyvilleLife.com. Links are in the show notes. And also, please subscribe and rate. Um, yeah, please subscribe and. Rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Tatera reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and also m- specials, such movies. And we also do other things. Recently, if you notice on the YouTube page, we've been doing animes. Yay! Um, we've been reviewing um, animes, comic movies uh, movies in general and so on um, right now I'm just gonna highlight our review of Little Witch Academia The Enchanted Parade that's a good one there so go check it out and if you're on the fence on about watching Little Witch I would say go give it a watch it is really entertaining and it's really fun you will see a bit of ponies in there and fun fact the guy who animates and uh, the director are a big fan of western cartoons so you'll get to see some of the reference there too okay and also if you would like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash the mbs show with every support you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and also <laughs> and also a huge thank you from me Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun mo- <laughs> with another fun episode of the MBS show. Oh, by the way, um, yes, but if you are going to BronyCon. And if you do say, here's the thing, here's, here's a plug for my um, co-hosts, co-hosts. Um, Silver Quill, Sapphire, and also Totera will be at BronyCon. And if you do see them, say hello, say hi, talk to them, uh, interact with them. Because I personally am not going because I live in Malaysia. So if you are going to BronyCon, have the chance to go to BronyCon, just say hi to them, just thank them for their tireless efforts on this show, working with me and whatnot, and just be nice to them, like for for me, just for me to them and for you to them too. I really appreciate if you just could say hi to them. And with that, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>